Okay, so this is going to be the next video the, in the series. It's going to be the third video. And it's we're going to look here at, uh, again, basic stuff. And it's going to be the message box. That's, so we're going to start from the basics. Okay, so here we have a message box signature function. So it's an integer. The function chef returns an integer value. Uh, then you got message box. And then you got a couple parameters. So the first one is H wind, which stands for handle to a window. So this here is basically a handle to a parent window. Then the next parameter is long pointer to a C string. Okay. And uh, which is basically the text. And then the next point is L is a long pointer to a C string again. So it's a bit to a, which is basically the title of the message box. And then we have the uh, unsigned integer type, which specifies basically and controls the contents. Okay, so this basically gives you the value, the number of flags you can specify. So there are a number of flags that you can specify what kind of buttons are displayed, how are they arranged, uh, basically, you know, and what, uh, what buttons are showing there. Okay, so it's a basically it's a basic function. And the strings here, LPC string and LG caption, they are C strings. Okay. And the thing is uh, here is that if you put a, for the caption option, if you put no for the string here, then you're going to get a default error display. Otherwise, you can put whatever C string you want to put in there. And for the text, also want to mention something that you can just have like either one line text. Uh, displayed, or you can have you can put like a, a slash n character in there, and it will basically break the text up into multiple lines. Okay. So now that we have this, uh, let's talk about a little bit about the handle to a window because this we're going to be seeing quite a lot of that. Okay, the handles, and so what handle is? It's basically as it's pretty much as we had already we've seen handle to an instance. So handle to a window is very similar. Is basically an integer value uh, that uniquely identifies that window that you create. Okay, so we have we're not going to be creating any windows yet, except I mean the message box is a window and the buttons are windows that are going to be displayed there. But we are ourselves not going to create that. That's, that's going to be already pre-programmed for us. Okay, but however, so yeah, but it's still important. So there's an integer value. So the handle to any window is not actually a pointer. Okay. It's the length of a pointer. It's on a 32-bit machine. It's going to be 32-bit wide, which is a bit wide. So it's basically an integer value that uniquely identifies that window, but it's not the pointer itself. It's not the pointer to the memory. Okay. So what it is, like in a Windows operating system, Windows a window is an object. It's not like a C++ object where you have, you know, like a class object, but it's, it's simply an object that is made up of several data structures that keep information about your window, such as location with high color to paint the non-client area, menu items, icons, the title, the state of the window, whether it's visible or not. It keeps that all information internally for itself. And then uh, since Windows is very much a hands-on operating system, okay, it will keep track of all the windows created and will manage them for you. So when you resize a window, it will repaint the non-client area. So the non-client area would be basically something like uh, like the title bar, the buttons here, the borders, okay? And the client area is basically the inside stuff, the white area here for us in our case here. So that's the way you see all the writing here. That will be the, the client area, and that will be a responsibility of your program, which I will show you how that is done, okay? But anything outside the client area is going to be repaint by Windows. So, yeah, but however, in order for your program to interact with that window, so you can communicate with the window itself, Windows operating system will give you a handle to it. So think of the handle as a key to that window. So once you have that key, you can basically manipulate the, through various uh, various functions that the Windows API will give you. You can man manipulate like what title to show, how many buttons, for example, those buttons here, whether to show them or not, what color, you know, to put, the, you know, like what color you want, the windows to repaint itself and so forth so the, like the so there's some variables that you'd be able to change okay 
and but to make those changes you will need that key the handle to that window okay to make be able to make those changes so let's take a look here so as we mentioned so it's we have a message box here so in our case we put null for the parent window so we don't have any parent window for this message box we put text here as i discussed before in the unicode video so basically this is telling us whether it's going to be a an ascii or unicode so in this case it's going to be ascii conversion but so the message info then we have the slash n which basically we're going to separate this message into two separate lines the next thing is going to be caption which is the title text error and then we have a bunch of a uh, couple flags okay so the first thing is the, going to be mb okay so basically what this flag does is just uh, gives us an okay button on the message box then we have mb which is message box underscore help which gives us a help button and then next the flag we have is mb icon hand so this uh, this uh, uh, flag tells us that to basically to, for the message box to display as uh, an error like an, in our case it's going to display as uh, the error icon so let me compile this for you should be already pre-built yeah. okay and we run and as you can see so the first thing first message line here we have it's split up as we mentioned we have the error caption we have our icon which we specified to be icon hand but that has been removed so the icon hand is equivalent to an uh, error so this is the icon we're going to get uh, then we have the ok button and we have the help button and i'll explain in a few moments what those buttons will do so like now in our case when we click ok button it ends the program so it when you click ok it gives you a return and in our case it returns uh, id ok okay so so let's see here uh, this is here okay yeah so return message window so there are several options that the message box can return depending on what on what you specified for the flags so for example if you specify that you want to have a cancel button then the return value will be id cancel okay but in our case we only specified a okay button so we're going to get an id okay button so what you can do then in that case is like if you have something like this if they put integer and let's go in value we're going to initialize to zero initially then we put like and let's go in value so this is going to give us the return value when the message box when we click the okay button and then if you want to test to see what kind of what kind of uh, return value was made so you can put like say if step if and return value is equal to id okay then you can do something with it like you can f yeah so so here's the thing okay so here's the thing so if your return value is id okay you can print f you can test for this condition here and you can you know, print f okay okay and then all else else if and return value equals id can sell then you can put something like this F, put F, cancel button, press. Okay. So, and by the way, I want to mention that this is going to be in a debug, debug mode. So that's why we have this other window in the background. So that's the uh, information on the screen here, the black window. Part of our code is just for debugging purposes there. So this is the only part of our code is this window here. So when we press OK, you see it says OK button press. So we can test for that condition on the message box. 
Now, moving on here, if you look in this, uh, to the side here, those flags, the, which are based on unsigned integers, okay, the, basically they are combined into one value based on a, what's called an OR operator, okay? So this, this value or this value or this value will make one value. So let me show you how that's done here. Okay, so here's the thing. So, so MP, okay, which is basically, here's so MP, okay, which is defined as uh, all zeros. Okay, so it's zero, 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 hex value. MB help is defined as zero, and this is in hex values. So zero, x, zero, I mean, four, zero, zero, zero. And IMB icon hand, which is defined as decimal 16, which is hex zero, 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 one, zero. So like, for example, let me show you here, like some of them definitions, like go to win user here, we already have that. So icon hand is defined in decimal 16, right? But when we go to MB, okay, if we go to find declaration here, MB4 is defined as zero, and then MB, MB help, okay, sorry, MB help here is defined as hex value. It's not as decimal, it's not as fine as hex, okay? But you can convert between one and the other with no problems. So anyhow, so yeah, so they're combined with an OR operator. So what it is, it, if you look at the binary situation of those hex values so of MB, okay, MB help and MB icon help, and so all, this is the binary value of 000. zero, zero. This is the, on a 32-bit machine, this is the representation of the 4000. Zero, zero, zero. This is the representation. Okay, so this is the, this is the representation for that binary value. And then 0010, zero, zero, this is the representation. And then what you do, you OR them. So like zero or zero or zero is zero. Zero, zero, zero is all zeros. And then if you have zero, zero, or one, it's always one. So one or zero will always produce one, okay? It's a, it's a true, what they call it, the true ta truth tables, okay? So you have to follow the truth table, but it's basic stuff. So in our case, we we basically ORing using the OR operations for C, which is basically like a line, horizontal line. I mean, sorry, uh, horizontal, not a vertical line, sorry. Okay, and then you combine them into one value. So the result will be uh, hex value 4010. Zero, zero. Okay, which is basically if you combine this values, it will be produced this hex value, which is 16,400. So, yeah. So, in that will, based on that value, the system will generate our message box here as we have here. So, let me just compile it again. So that's the message box here. Now, as you can notice, the second thing we have what's called a help button. This is, I just added it for you because it demonstrates something a bit different what the message box can do. So what happens here when you press on help button, nothing happens, okay? But in reality, it does, it, it is, something is happening in the background. So what it is, if we go here, let's look at this. So we have our display. Let's assume we had a main window, which we don't. We don't have a main window like a parent window we don't have it but let's assume that we do have it and then we have this our message box here okay so if the message box is this has a parent window so when you press the help button what will happen the windows operating system here will send what's called a wm underscore help message to your window procedure i will explain what a window procedure is in the next videos when we start to create our main application window, okay. But I just wanted to uh, to add this for here to demonstrate that not all buttons return immediately, okay. So like when you press OK, then you get a return value and message the model message box goes away. But when you press Help, it doesn't go away. What it happens is the Windows operating system will take uh, will check for the parent window of that. Uh, message box okay which is like in our case will be this background window here and then it would send a vm help message to window procedure 
okay, which I will explain in the next video what the window procedure is, okay? So, so in this case, so from this video, I want you to take the, mo the main thing that I want you to take out is very important, the handle to a window, because we're gonna be using a lot this handle to window. So think of it as a key to your window so you can manipulate the data of that window, okay? So you can manipulate some of the features of that window. Okay, so that will be, uh, that's very important there. Yeah, so yeah, so let me just go over here. Yeah, so the all operators, as you, the unsigned integer type is basically just one value, but you can have multiple values combined into one value using the all operator. And uh, they're, you know, an unsigned integer, meaning they, they are just positive values, okay? So I will end this video at this point, you know, hopefully, and then we'll pick up with the next video should be now starting to go into the, how to basic program, start programming, for how to create the main, uh, main windows, the application windows, um, in our programs. Okay, thanks.